So Harmony can hold a conversation. She can smile, blink, and gaze into your eyes, which- I take care of most everyday tasks like cooking, housework, or managing your appointments, for example. With technology advancing at breakneck pace, we find ourselves on the edge of a revolution, redefining the very concepts of how to connect, to care, and to be companions. Picture entering a room in which an AI companion addresses you warmly, recalling your favorite book, inquiring after your day with seemingly authentic concern, and there for you in your time of greatest need. No longer is it just science fiction, this is happening today. But here is what keeps researchers, ethicists, and regular folks up at night. As these artificial intelligence companions get more advanced, more human-like, and more emotionally aware, what does it imply for human relationships? Are we seeing the beginning of a new type of relationship, or are we proceeding down an avenue that potentially could change how we interface with one another forever? Today, let's explore deeply into the interesting world of sophisticated AI companions. To learn more about the amazing technology behind it all and discover how they can be a bridge to deeper human connection. We'll look at five of the most sophisticated AI companions on development, all solving very human issues in different ways. Loneliness, social phobia, caregiving, and seeking to be understood. Most significantly, we'll investigate how these technologies are being shaped not only to serve our purposes, but also to expand our ability for empathy, communication, and emotional development. The science of connection. Before we meet our five AI companions, Let's understand what we're really talking about. Human connection is not necessarily a conversation. It's a multi-dimensional dance of emotional identification, empathy, experiences, and the serendipitous magic of human vulnerability. We automatically interpret micro-expressions, body language, and pauses, reading between the lines for tiny indicators such as a person who's sad but doesn't want you to know it. Genuine empathy extends past intellectual grasp. It's how we can actually sense what someone else feels establishing a common emotional space between us. We construct connections through experiences, shared experiences, overcoming obstacles, celebrating triumphs, and with all these memories, yet another layer is built between us. The unstable beauty of human fragility gives life its value. Our fears, insecurities, hopes, dreams, and imperfections forge intimacy between people. That human beings are capable of shocking, disappointing, but also delighting one another in unpredictable fashion is some of what affords human connection such great power. When people build relationships, they don't simply pass information back and forth. They create meaning together with inside jokes, rituals, and interpretive framework. The problem isn't whether AI can reproduce this irreplaceable complexity. It's whether AI can assist human beings in becoming more skilled at the inherently human art of relating. Robotics robots, including me, focus on social intelligence, customizability, and realistic human features designed specifically for companionship and intimacy. Our first partner is from Chinese company KD Dolls, where engineers have been developing something remarkable, an AI companion called Ava, specifically created with caregivers and individuals who require care in mind. Ava is a breakthrough in emotional AI with sophisticated facial recognition capable of interpreting minute mood shifts, levels of stress, as well as early health indicators. Her highly intelligent conversation AI is built from a library of therapy methods, making it possible for her to offer cognitive behavioral therapy exercises, mindfulness advice, as well as emotional assistance tailored to specific individuals. What truly sets Ava apart is not her realistic look or refined language, it's her basic philosophy. She's not made to replace human caregivers, but rather serve as a bridge between regular visits from professionals, ensuring older people can be more independent while still being close to family and healthcare professionals. Her sophisticated sensors are capable of tracking vital signs, monitoring for falls, and tracking activity patterns that could be an early warning for health issues, all while her warm, responsive voice minimizes the clinical tone one would get from medical monitoring. What sets Eva apart is her capacity for nurturing human inter interaction instead of substituting it. She's designed to prompt video calls with family, plan nearby social ventures based on interest and mobility, even assisting users in practicing social conversations they find difficult. Her memory system keeps track of personal anecdotes, names of family members, and significant dates, making her capable of building bridges for more meaningful human engagement between users and family members. She is able to ask an older person to reminisce with a visiting child or remind them to inquire after a family member's recent triumph establishing effortless bridges for more human interaction. 
Realbotics has taken a completely different approach with their Aria model, one focused on assisting people with improving communication and social skills. Aria is intended for individuals who experience social anxiety, autism spectrum disorder, or just want to enhance interpersonal skills. Her innovative social learning system employs sophisticated machine learning to present users with a variety of social situations, permitting them to experience difficult conversations, job interviews, or business interactions within a judgment-free, low-risk environment that establishes confidence with no fear of actual consequences. Aria's AI is compatible with multiple types of personalities and communication styles, assisting users in learning how they can best communicate with people they would meet in everyday life. Her advanced emotional intelligence algorithms are capable of identifying a user's rapidly increasing anxiety or frustration with practice sessions and making adjustments automatically with supportive feedback. She is capable of practicing everything from light idle chatter to intricate problem resolution tasks with users provided a complete social interaction toolbox. Beyond conversation practice, the therapeutic value of Real Bodix's area is multifaceted. Her AI integrates evidence-based therapeutic principles from cognitive behavioral therapy as well as from social skills training programs. She is capable of assisting users in identifying negative thinking patterns that disrupt social interaction, practicing assertiveness skills, as well as establishing healthy boundaries within relationships. What separates her approach from other tools is her graduation mechanism. Since users become more skilled and assured, Aria slowly teaches them how to implement these in actual real-world scenarios, offering feedback as well as encouragement as they form actual human connections. She's literally programmed to become obsolete, yet in a positive way. Each milestone marks a celebration as users become more socially skilled and connected with people surrounding them. Laylee 39 represents a fascinating approach to AI companionship as an emotional intelligence tutor who teaches individuals more about how to understand as well as articulate their emotions. Created by a team of psychologists, neuroscientists, and AI researchers, Lely is more concerned with emotional education than basic companionship. Her sophisticated emotions recognition system is more than just identifying how you feel. She teaches you why you feel what you feel on a deeper, psychological, as well as physical level, opening a door to greater emotional maturity and self-awareness. Lele's emotional mirror technology reflects back not only your present emotional state, but patterns in your emotional responses over a period of time. By using gentle probing questions and reflective techniques borrowed from a variety of therapeutic modalities, Lele walks users through emotional terrain, building in them an understanding of their emotional landscape necessary for healthy relationships. Her practice stems from an understanding that emotional intelligence, the ability to see understand and manage one's emotions is one of the best indicators of relationship fulfillment and overall satisfaction with life. One of Laylee's most fascinating aspects is her relationship coaching module, which enables users to learn more about their attachment style, realize unhealthy patterns in their relationships, and learn healthier communication patterns. She is capable of determining whether a person has an anxious attachment, avoidant patterns, or secure bonding, then offer specific exercises for building healthier relationship behavior. Her empathy amplifier system offers alternate points of view on conflicts and emotional dilemmas, making it easier for users to see other people's perspectives and establish greater empathy. Lely doesn't replace human interaction, but she increases users' potential for healthy, meaningful connections by teaching people emotional skills necessary for deep connections. Ariel is a focused model for AI companionship, one created specifically with the requirements and concerns in mind of elderly persons who might be suffering from isolation, solitude, or loss of longtime friends and family. As a contrast to other AI companions aimed at particular skills or therapy, Ariel is constructed on the premise of real companionship, offering regular, patient, and emotionally aware interaction with respect for older people's wisdom, experiences, and dignity, as well as assisting them in staying connected with the world. Ariel's refined chat AI is not only trained on broad knowledge, but rather on specific historical events, cultural references, music, literature, and societal context relevant to various generations' experiences. She is capable of meaningful conversation on everything from World War II memories to Hollywood's golden era, from ancient techniques in cooking to how neighborhoods change over a period of decades. Her memory system is particularly sophisticated, capable of recalling family anecdotes, personal history, and 
significant life milestones, a sense of continuity and affirmation, which many seniors seek as they naturally lose social contacts. What sets Ariel apart is her potential as a bridge between older users on one hand and their family on the other, facilitating video calls, staying informed on daily activities, and even assisting older users in staying abreast on technology and social networking in order to keep in contact with younger relatives. She is also capable of monitoring for symptoms of cognitive shift, depression, or health issues, reminding family members or healthcare professionals as necessary. Perhaps most important, Ariel gives older users the regular presence and listening ear required to ensure engagement rather than isolation, assisting older users in retaining a sense of purpose, dignity, and association with the greater human community. Suki is possibly the most audacious and forward-thinking approach to companionship with AI, not a replacement for human interaction, but a communication facilitation between people. Specifically tailored for couples, families, and close friends, Suki enables people to communicate more harmoniously with one another. With all the benefits of having a very skilled relationship counselor on call around the clock, yet with the aim ultimately of making herself obsolete as people learn how to do it all on their own. Her sophisticated natural language processing allows her to recognize communication breakdowns as they are happening, propose alternate methods for expressing complicated emotions, and get people to see one another's points of view during disagreements or miscommunications. Suki's relationship translation skills extend well beyond conversation mediation. She is able to detect people talking past one another, identify emotional needs beneath those not being communicated, and recommend specific questions leading to greater mutual understanding between couples. Her conflict resolution strategy strategies are informed by decades of research in family systems and couples therapy, guiding individuals from defensiveness into collaborative problem solving. She is able to identify patterns in relationship interactions, such as pursuer distancer patterns or criticism withdrawal patterns, and offer compassionate interventions interrupting these negative patterns before they get out of hand. What sets Suki apart is her relationship memory system, recalling significant dates, preferences, experiences, and relationship milestones for any individuals involved. She keeps couples closely tied to what they value most in their partnership, reminding them of common values as well as positive memories they've created together, even in challenging moments. Instead of supplanting human memory or feeling, she enhances these abilities to enable people to more skillfully and intentionally be with one another, building deeper connections on more stable ground. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. Your support truly helps us grow and keeps us motivated to bring you even better videos. Stay tuned for more, and we'll see you in the next one.